you made a really good choice by clicking on this video. I'm Hannah and this is everything I thrifted in the month of April. I make these thrift hauls every month so if you like it be sure to subscribe and you can see more every month. This is a pretty good sized haul so I'm gonna get right into it. I found so much media this month. In October 1990 Elle magazine, we're practically twins. Young MC CD, Stone Cold Ryman. Try saying that five times fast. A Phil Collins and a Lionel Richie cassette tape. The Babysitter's Club, Marianne and the Brunettes on VHS. And as we covered in my last video, I do own all the VHS tapes, but this one had a different cover, and that's like the dumbest reason to buy something, but I did it. It looked different than the one I already have. Award-winning 80s music videos. I totally watched it right away, and I can confirm that it is 30 minutes of awesome. Ugh, I got three W magazines. That's WWW. So those will be fun to rip up. And now for the grand finale of the media stuff. I wish I could say that this is New Kids on the Block because I'm wearing a New Kids on the Block t-shirt, but it's not. It's a different boy band. It is an entire stack of NSYNC stuff. And this is like the good years, you know, 1999, 2000. There was an antique store going out of business and everything was half off and I went down to the basement and it was just like typical stuff you'd see at an antique store and I didn't expect to find a bag full of InSync merchandise. But that's what I found and it ended up being $3. What? There's magazines and books and an entire calendar of nothing but Justin Timberlake. I think one of my favorite things is the folders because whoever owned this also liked to clip up magazines. We are kindred spirits. And they were not only an InSync fan, they also seemed to like a lot of stars from the early 2000s, like all of the good ones. A lot of like James Vanderbeek, Julia Stiles, J-Lo, and there's a bunch of celebrity stickers from Cosmo Girl magazines. Um, yes, that's a Beyonce sticker. I just really wish I knew who this person was because I really want to meet them. <laughs> Whew, so, yeah, I got enough media to last me for a while, but chances are I'll just thrift more next month. But now I'm going to show you my clothes, and this is a little different because some of the things I was not expecting to find, and I'm also going to share with you my reject pile, which is basically just the stuff I find at thrift stores that I kind of second guess myself for buying, and so I don't usually show it in the haul. But you're gonna see it this time. Eh, why not? YOLO. I'm gonna start right off with a reject item and I was excited when I found it and then after it's been in my house I'm like, why did I get those? And they're a pair of shoes. I frequently talk about my struggle to find shoes at thrift stores because I wear a size 11 so to find shoes is a pretty awesome thing. The only problem was when I got home I realized I have a pair of shoes like these. Like, how does that happen? I only own like 20 pairs of shoes. So there's that. But on a happier note, I did find another pair of shoes. Like what? Two in one month? That's unheard of. And they are a pair of like dark brown like sensible heels. I've been trying to find heels that are good for like everyday walking and these are more or less what I had pictured in my head. I was just like so excited when I found them. I thought they were Belk and I'm like, oh yeah, I know Belk. I think I've heard Tim Gunn talk about Belk on Project Runway. Designers, please use the Belk accessory wall thoughtfully. But then when I got home, I realized they're actually by a brand called Bolo. Still comfortable and serve a purpose though. Oh, I forgot. I also found this little spool of red sequins. I had seen a project somewhere. Can't remember where I saw it, but I knew I needed a roll of sequins. So hopefully when I find it, I will make a tutorial whatever that is. And I bought a wide black belt to replace one that I have. Really nothing special there. My clothes are just like a hot mess right now. I've got some that have been washed. I've got some that are still in the Goodwill bag. Whew. Some good stuff. I feel like I've said that a lot. This is like the hall of good stuff. Let me scoop so you can see the try-ons. So this isn't remarkable and I'll show it first. It is just a mint uh, boxy cut shirt. I'm gonna like try to build up to the more exciting pieces. So this one is just a regular staple in your wardrobe. It's just like um, a brick colored long sleeve shirt. It says it's boyfriend cut but I'm gonna have to take their word for it. These are a pair of plaid shorts because I dug out my summer clothes and I looked at my shorts and I was like who bought these? I was just really disappointed with my selection of shorts. I was like, I'm gonna need to buy some more. Not that I have a ton as it is, but the shorts are a good addition. Reject item, 
I found a pair of floral jeggings, which floral and jeggings and just pants in general are always on my radar to thrift. So it's not that I didn't want these, totally want them, totally think they're cute. The problem is that I hate using dressing rooms and it's really hard to try to eyeball what size pants are, but I take a chance anyways. And they're just a smidge too small. Like, I can wear them and nobody would really think much of it, but I would know, because I would feel uncomfortable, but still totally cute. Oh, that's right, I bought a tank top. It's black with sequins on it. Funny story, it was a sale day at Goodwill, and it's really busy and it's hard to get down any aisle. And I thought I turned down the aisle with t-shirts and instead it was tank tops and there was a lady coming towards me with a cart and someone who came behind me with a cart. And so I kind of got stuck and I was just like, oh, I guess I'll look at tank tops. And so I just pulled this one out because I'm like, I like sequins. So I accidentally found it, but I still like it just the same. Another accidental find, I read a lot of fashion magazines. You know, I don't really follow trends, but I keep up with what's happening, you know, that kind of thing. And I've been seeing bomber jackets everywhere. I've never had one, but they look really cool. And I just kind of left it at that, like, oh yeah, bomber jackets are pretty cool. Well, like, a couple days later, I went to a church garage sale, and what should I find but the coolest bomber jacket ever. It's like the sickest jacket I've ever seen. Pretty sure it's not vintage, but the tag looks like um, early 2000s skatewear. How do I know that? I don't know. So I would guess that it was made for more like athletic purposes. It's a lot of look, so wish me luck when I do finally find the guts to wear it. Another instance of when it hurt not to use a dressing room is I picked up this acid wash denim skirt from the 80s. I don't normally buy stuff that looks directly from the 80s. I like more of just like a modern take on the 80s. But sometimes I do costumes or more directly inspired looks. So I figured it was about time I invested in some really good acid wash from the 80s. Unfortunately, this one was too tight. So I'm probably gonna try to upcycle it in some way. I did find a pair of pants that do fit, but they're sort of hovering in the reject pile because I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're a pair of black joggers from Target and they're the kind that have like a thick white stripe on the side. And they have new tags, which is always a plus. You see, I read a lot of fashion blogs and you kind of start to want to emulate the styles you read. And there's this one I've been really into lately, Valerie Brennan. I feel like I've seen her wear these pants before and she makes them look so cool and I thought, oh, I'm gonna look awesome in them then. But then I tried them on and showed them to my mom and she asked me if I was gonna go work out. So they just ended up looking like straight up athletic pants on me. So the fit is impeccable, I just have to find a way to not make it look like I'm going to the gym because I don't even know what the inside of a gym looks like. I guess I'm gonna have to stock Valerie's blog a little more for inspiration. I would suggest you do it too. The next two shirts I got for free, but before I show them to you, I'm just gonna real quick answer the questions I'm gonna get about how I get things for free at a thrift store. I've actually written a very informative blog post and I will put a link to that down below and it also has a video where I talked about it a little bit. It's definitely worth checking out if you also want to get free stuff. Now that we got that covered, I will show you the shirts that I found for free. The first one is this one, and as soon as I saw just all of the patterns meeting together, I was like, holy cow, that is awesome. And then I flipped like two shirts down and I found this one. And I would totally assume that these came from the same person, or else there are two very tacky people out there besides myself. They're both Contempo Casuals, which is like one of my favorite 80s and 90s brands, and this one actually had new tags on it. Bonus! I wonder how much I could pay someone to go in public with me wearing these shirts. Second to last thing I found is a denim vest. Sure, I've got a denim vest. I like it, it's alright, but sometimes I feel it's just a little too plain, a little too junior, a little too basic, and so in my head I thought it'd be kind of cool to find another one. I didn't put much thought into it, I just thought it'd be cool. Then I was at Goodwill on a sale day and I found this and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. It has the smell of old denim and I'm pretty sensitive to smell so it's kind of grossing me out, but I think it's weird because it's actually Banana Republic, like probably in the last five years Banana Republic, but whatevs, it's awesome. Now, the last thing I have to show you is stupidly awesome. At first glance, it looks like a cardigan, but I'm not the kind of person who buys just a cardigan. Pop up my photo, look at that, you guys. It is a cardigan in the shape 
of a moto jacket. I never imagined that a cardigan in the shape of a motorcycle jacket was what I was missing in my life, but I guess I was wrong. So, this has been everything I thrifted in the month of April. I would love to know down in the comments what you bought this month. If you didn't get to go thrifting, then just let me know what you like from my thrift haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that way I know that you liked it and I will continue to make more. And hopefully I will see you in future videos. But the coolest bomber jacket ever. There is a piece of hair threatening my face. But it looks good with my hair, right?